Welcome to another way of trying to solve the leap year problem. In this mechanism, what I am going to do is instead of using the ladder if else if else if else statement, I am going to use the nested if and the else if statement to determine if an input year is a leap year or not. So as usual, I'll first declare a variable called as year of the type short because year is not definitely going to be entered anywhere greater than 32 or whatever thousand. I'm going to ask the user to first enter a year and then I'm going to read the year into a variable called as year. After the year is entered, first thing what I'm going to do here is in order to show you the working of nested if, I'm going to first check here is divisible by 100 and whether the remainder is zero. So if the year is divisible by 100, and if the remainder happens to be zero, that means it's a century year. Then the next condition I'm going to check is if year mod 400 is equal to zero. So if it is a century year and also it happens to be a year divisible by 400, then definitely this particular year is going to be a leap year. All right. Now then there's one more possibility. The year may not be divisible by 400. It may only be divisible by 100. In that case, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say else printf year is not a leap year. So I'm going to just do an explanation of this particular thing. So just please hold on on this one. All right. So this is how I'm going to write it here. Now, a little bit of clarification is required. If year mod 100 is zero, then only I come here. If the year is divisible by 400, I'm going to say it's a leap year. Else, if this condition is false, then I'm straight away saying it's not a leap year because it's a year only divisible by 100, not by 400. Then now for this if, I've got one more condition. Now I'm going to check else if, Okay, I can just type a little bit and it's it's going to show me else if okay else if year mod 4 is equal to 0 then what is going to happen? I am going to say that particular year is a leap year. All right. Is a leap year else it is not a leap year. All right. So just copy this guy here. All right. So let's try to understand this piece of code through proper explanation. Otherwise, you're just going to be a little confused with the nested if. So first what I'm doing is I'm asking the user to enter a year. Let us say he enters the year 2000. So 2000 mod 100 is zero is true. Then this if statement it goes because this is true it is getting in here. 2000 mod 400 is it zero? This is also true. So it's going to say 2000 is a leap year and then it's going to print the year 2000 is a leap year and then it's going to return zero. Now let me say I enter a year as 1600. Sorry, not 1600. Let's enter the year 1800. 1800 mod 100 is 0 is true. Now when it comes to this if 1800 mod 400 is definitely not 0 because the remainder is 200. So this else part becomes true. It's going to say 1800 is not a leap year. So this takes care of the second case. Now let's take a year called as 2004. 2004 divided by 100 is equal to 0 is false. So this complete if block is not associated and it has to come to this else if. In the else if 2004 mod 4 is equal to 0 is true. So it will say 2004 is a leap year. Now let's say if I take the year 2010. 2010 mod 100 is 0 is false. 2010 mod 4 is 0 is false. 2000 automatically 2010 is not a leap year because it's neither this condition nor this condition is being satisfied. Now this if within an if is an example of a nested if. There are a few things you need to very carefully understand here so that you do not make mistakes when you're actually writing your own code. 
this else is associated or linked with this if the rule in c is or in fact in most programming languages the else is always associated with the closest if first so this else is associated with this if so this else is taken care of now automatically this else if gets associated with this if and this else has to remain with this if else if and this if now in order to make it more clear and not create confusion i would suggest a trick put a parenthesis here okay now it is very clear that this particular group of statements okay this particular group is associated with this if and this else if and else are part of this if so this is if else if and this is else so now it should be clear that this group of statements are associated with this if else if is associated with this if else is associated with this else if and if so rule of the thumb or good practices use flower brackets because it will not confuse the observer of this code to make a mistake in trying to understand your code so rule of thumb when in doubt use a flower bracket now you see it's how easy it is to understand i know that this entire block is associated with this if and this else is associated with this particular if now there is no confusion in the nested if else so please make this as a habit when in doubt or you want to give clarity to your code please use flower brackets and use proper indentation as i have shown here indentation means spaces on the left side gaps between statements make the program very clear and readable some of you may not want to give caps here that is perfectly fine okay this is okay some people don't like this gap this is perfectly fine but give gaps on the left side and keep proper indentation so that your code is clear now so far we have written the code let's see if it really runs so what i am going to do here is i am going to enter the year 1700 it should print 1700 is not a leap year so here it is it checked here then it came here 1700 more 400 is zero is false so it automatically said 1700 is not a leap year let's run one more test let's run for the year 2004 now let's see what happens once we run sorry once we run year 2004 2004 mod 100 is zero is false it comes to this else if 2000 and more mod sorry 2004 mod 4 is zero is true so 2004 is a leap year and it will come out and return zero let's enter one more run now let's enter the value let's say 2011 okay just say an example now if i enter 2011 it's definitely not a leap year because 2011 mod 100 is zero is false 2011 mod 4 is zero this is also false automatically it should say 2011 is not a leap year last one trial run let's run it for the year 1600 okay so 1600 let's see what happens 1600 mod 100 is zero is true 1600 mod 400 is also zero is true so it will print 1600 is a leap year then it will come to return zero and halt so i hope this code is clear to you and please be sure that you use this flower bracket because now you clearly know this entire group belongs to this if if you don't properly indent it and don't use flower bracket it can be a cause of confusion so in the next example when i'm doing one more nested if program i'll show you i'll create confusion and i will understand why it's a good idea to use flower brackets to clearly demarcate which code belongs to which particular if statement